so heavy. So I will inevitably hear all of your music. So if we ever do and then when two. he so when he said that to me, uh, then let him know like how many like whether they be small, right? Like to 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 your average hip hop head who isn't from New York City. Like Holden's been learning a lot of things um, in this journey of, of this show that we're doing together, right? Because he's from right. Montreal, grows up in Canada. I'm in the Bronx, you know what I mean? So like, I say nah mean a lot. <laughs> and he nah, put me on to the fact that he don't nah mean. <laughs> and nah. I understand, right? And so like, I explain like a lot of things that he started to understand like the journey that we go, that we do with like fashion. And things oh that gosh, and yeah. these other things that are kind of like really, really important to us. You know what I mean? And uh those are things that also you have led the forefront and things that right now I was explaining to him that before, you know, essentially before uh Pharrell, before uh before Lupe, before everybody was doing tight jeans thing. Mickey was out here tight jean in it out. You know what I mean? Was with the skinnies before everybody, before anybody. Um, it was a lot of things that you were at the forefront of that a lot of people just you know, I, aren't aware. Of. That's fair, right? Eh? Because I can think of pictures of you. I've I've, I've kind of like watched snippets of interviews. That's kind of how I prepped this. I wanted to see like you know, and then you get to see like the fashion has been mad consistent. But now that I think about it, you really like are on that shit in like the 2000s and it becomes like the hottest shit ever. And you were like, really like there's video evidence of you being that in like 2007 and shit before it's cool. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's, you know, we, we, we jumped ahead a lot. Yeah. Um, no, we'll, just, we'll, 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 you know, we'll come back. back, but just the, just the co-sign with Flacco was saying, man, um, like, I don't think people, first of all, just being from the Bronx and being able to, it's just, it's overwhelming to know that like continuing the tradition of starting stuff and being that first person to do certain things is just unbelievable, right? Because, and I try not to really say it too much. And, you know, there, there are people like Flacco who, who champion that, right? Because if I say it, like I look crazy. But every time I go up to Sway, you know, Sway is the one who 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 drills it home. Like, y'all wasn't wearing skinny jeans when Mickey was wearing it. He was the one that made it cool. He was the one taking the, the tomatoes. He was the one niggas was calling a hipster rapper. He was the one wearing supers when niggas wasn't wearing supers. He was the one wearing Y3. He was Supreme. He was on Rocksmith. He was on everything that guys is wearing I had true religion jeans on in 2003 when people started wearing it in 08 because of because of jim jones so like you want to talk about fashion and then even talking about the music style sampling nerd in 2006 when people were sampling pharrell and the neptunes we were sampling nerd rapping off of that in 06 right and just and just telling my story like we was doing that early on i couldn't sell I couldn't get on mixtapes because I didn't have the money to get on the mixtapes. I couldn't pay K Slay X amount of dollars. I couldn't pay Smack X amount of dollars to get on a DVD. I couldn't pay Cutmaster C. I couldn't pay uh, Flex. So what we did, we went to the internet. We went on MySpace and we put our stuff up on MySpace and that's how we got noticed. So let this, I just want to let you know something, Holden, just so you know, just so you know how how innovative we were back then, right? Just the co-sign with Flacco was saying. Love it. The, the first show, the very first show I ever did at Mickey Fax, I was in China. My guy. Okay, we, we'll build to that. That's amazing. Let's go back then to high school. For not, like New York, not New York City. The first show I ever did was in China. They paid me and four of my friends to fly to China so I could perform. Like, that's how international I was. And this was 2007. 